So what happens when some of the biggest stakers cash out in a couple of years? Huge, massive crashes? Obviously. But more will keep joining, so volatility will be insane. Yeah, this is another misunderstanding everybody has. So Eric Wall, he's like, there's going to be a crash in 5.8 years. Oh, yeah? So here's what you think, bro. You think people are on-ramping now, locking up for 5.8 years, and then the on-ramping, the on-ramping will stop, and the system state will stay static, and everyone will just wait until six years from now, and then I'll sell it once. No, that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is what has been happening. I think the stake increase is likely to continue to uh, get longer as people try and maintain the number of shares they used to have. And then every time they have to restake, they're getting less shares than they used to have. And they don't like that. So then they either add more hex or add more length to get more bonus to get back the same shares they used to have. So I think we're going to, and, and, and if people start doing encapsulated stakes where we can have hex stakes uh, split up and then on other networks that are tradable, I think you're going to have an even longer increase in average stake length because those will probably just be 5,555 day stakes that people are trading shares in. So I think that I know that average stake length has increased by a lot. It used to be 4.8 years. Now it's 5.8 years. And I know that the volume is increasing and the liquidity is increasing. I know that the rate at which we're on-ramping new users is increasing. The, the, the speed at which new people and new addresses are opening new stakes is going up. I can see my social metrics, my, uh, you know, on-ramping of new users. I'm at 105,000 followers on, on Twitter now, about 80,000 on YouTube. Every single measurable metric is going up and to the right and better and awesomer. And I can't think of any reason why that wouldn't continue. I really can't. And as long as those metrics are static or increasing, the amount of liquidity and users that you'll have in six years will be insane. So this, this fan fiction idea that there's just some one moment in time that's going to matter a whole ton, it's like, eh, well, why, you know, why hasn't this mattered? Hey, remember, I heard the same FUD for Big Payday. The FUD for Big Payday was the same. As soon as Big Payday's over, it's going to go to zero. That's what everyone believed. Everyone said that crap. The haters. Uh, no, that's not what happened. As a matter of fact, that was a wonderful buying opportunity and the price is up over 100x since then. <laughs> You're like, so so this FUD that people try and sell you, I mean, right now the price is up 170x from Big Petty. 160x off of this short measure. You know what? I'll give you a more specific measured move here. Big Payday till now. 200x. So the price is up 200x since big payday FUD, the bottom of the big payday dip. But do you get apologized to you? Does anyone say sorry? Does anyone learn anything? Nope. They double down and get sillier. <laughs> like, all right, guys. Well, let me tell you how many 2x's you've missed. You missed the first 2x, the second 2x, the third 2x, the fourth 2x, the fifth 2x, the sixth 2x, the seventh 2x, the eighth 2x, the ninth 2x, the tenth 2x, the eleventh 2x, and the twelfth 2x. We finished our twelfth 2x now. How many doublings do you want to miss? It's hilarious to me. <laughs>